let me have an opportunity to welcome Mr. Arunangshu Bhattacharya. Currently, he is pursuing MBBS first year from Ames, Delhi. He secured All India Rank 19 in NEET 2019. All India Rank 6 in Ames 2019. All India Rank 1 in JIPMER 2019. So Arunangshu, a very warm welcome to this Netflix live series on the behalf of all the students and Akash family. Thank you, sir. How does it feel to be studying in Ames? How is life there? Or maybe you can tell us how has life changed? Please. It's quite it's quite an amazing experience to be in Ames finally. On the 1st of August, that was the first day when I stepped in the classes of Ames and interacted with my batchmates, with the lecturers and henceforth began the amazing journey at Ames. When did you first think of becoming a doctor and why it was so? In 8, 9, 10th, I developed an interest in the field of biology as a whole, like as in a research-based uh, environment, a research-based thought as I was preparing for the biology Olympiad. So this helped me in integrating my love for mathematics and biology together and pursue it as a whole. Question is coming from Anil Kumar Renuka. I think uh, uh, Anil Kumar is actually preparing for NEET 2020. He is uh, asking that, you know, please discuss a strategy, a strategy for, you know, NEET 2020. What should be from now? So my primary strategy, even when I was a student back in January of 2019, December, January, so in those months too, I focus more on appearing for more and more mock tests and the papers of recruited organizations. Looking at the current situation, the current pandemic situation, you know that you are not going to college yourself. Other students who are doing need preparation, kare, they are also not going to any coaching institution. They are in at, at their home, like they are trapped in. And still they have to prepare for need. How would you have achieved in those days if you have faced such a pandemic situation and how did you know digital play the role in your preparation at, at that time too i used to appear for many online test series for my showing up my preparation strategy so that would have definitely continued even in the case of lockdown and i suppose more number of tests would have been organized in are i think being organized at present too and uh, the deficiency of physical classes that would have occurred there i think is being supplemented quite well today uh, in the digital classes of akash people are being able to ask questions properly and able to get solutions to their doubts and it's more or less being they are able to simulate the classroom experience quite well so i suppose the revision classes in those times of digital uh, platform in on digital platform would have been quite effective because like i mentioned the time of transit is a big uh, chunk of time that used to go back when i was attending physical classes so that's a big amount of time that we are saving so i think that's a that's a positive thing which has to be utilized by the students student is asking m jeevan balaji how you managed your stress during your preparation of me and while studying 11th and 12th class together because you have dragged NEET, AIMS and not many exams in the same year when you appeared into 12th board examination. So it is a very important question and you have to tell us your strategy. I used to focus more on smaller goals like immediate goals like completing a chapter thoroughly or getting a good rank in the internal text, uh, test that is coming. Uh, that is going to be held the next month or so. So, uh, like having smaller goals in our preparation, be it set by the institute or set by ourselves, meeting those smaller goals with the perspective of a larger goal in our mind is more important. What do you think about the recorded video lecture for the preparation of NEET? Recorded lectures come to be more helpful during the revision time because uh, we can set the playback time and, you know, like often we might not require the entire concepts but we might be facing some difficulty in some particular concepts and um, like that's the main benefit of recorded lectures is that we can uh, move to the part of the lecture which we actually require another question is coming from k saini 
how to avoid distractions so it is important to separate the things like uh, if anyone is studying on a laptop then it's important to delete all the other unnecessary stuff non academic stuff from the laptop so that we are, do not have any urge to switch from our learning thank you so much arunanshu for joining us here thank you so much thank you sir